Welcome to FastClick Massive Tutorial. This video will cover the key tracking oscillator page and I will be providing you with basic knowledge and examples if necessary. This allows you to change the behaviour of linear pitch position like on a keyboard, the lower to the left, the higher to the right. This page can alter that behaviour. Let's have a look at the parameters on this page. This displays the current key tracking response setup. You can use this area to configure your setup using the breakpoints. You can add and remove breakpoints by right clicking on the mouse. The horizontal and vertical axis displays numbers by semitones. The horizontal axis represents the incoming signal's response and the vertical axis represents the outgoing signal's response. This allows you to map the specific key tracking to the desired oscillators. It consists of three columns representing linear, user and off. Linear is a mode where it follows the principles of a keyboard. When this mode is selected you cannot edit the mapping setup. This mode lets you create custom key tracking response setups. Holding down ALT and dragging the mouse adjusts vertical axis only. Holding down SHIFT and dragging the mouse adjusts by semitone. Clicking and dragging displays white lines to present your current key tracking response position. There is also a small box in the corner that represents the vertical axis on top and the horizontal axis on the bottom. Double clicking on the breakpoints will assign your key tracking response in a horizontal line. By default this will change all incoming signals on the 64th semitone going by the display. This ends my tutorial, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel.